Okay, hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Spiz. Now today is going to be a little bit different because I haven't got a clue where I'm going. I've just basically jumped in the car. I'm actually quite late today. It's quarter to 11. Um, so I've just grabbed a map. I have the uh, illustrated book of, uh, illustrated book, road book of Scotland from the AA. I've been looking through this. It's fantastic. What a book. It's like the Bradshaw's uh, railway book, but for the road. So we're going to be taking that with us today. And I'm just basically going to head out towards uh, Perth way. I've grabbed a map and I haven't got a clue what we're going to see. There's a few places on the map that I've kind of just had a quick skefty at, but I haven't got a clue where we're going to end up, folks. So just stay with me today as we go into the unknown. I'm on a road trip. I'm on a road trip. I'm on a road trip on my own. I'm on a road trip. I'm on a road trip and I just don't know where I'm going. I'm on a road trip. I'm on a road trip. I'm on a road trip on my own. I'm on a road trip. I'm on a road trip and I just don't know where I'm going. <laughs> so folks, I'm on a road trip here and I'm all on my own. Yes, indeed I am. So I thought I'd just come out today because, um, well, I headed east yesterday, so today we're heading west and uh, we're heading out towards the Perth way. Once I get to the Perth Broxton roundabout, I'm going to go up to the uh, the left. There's a road that goes up that way and we'll head into that sort of area and see what's up there. As I said, I haven't got a clue where I'm going. I've got a Mars bar, half a, a bottle of water. I haven't even washed, cleaned my teeth, uh, had a breakfast bar for my breakfast. Um, so that's it, I really am running on uh, basic rations today, folks. I've nobody to talk to, so I've just been singing to myself daft little tunes. Um, and as I said, I don't really know where I'm going to end up or what I'm going to be looking for. So, let's just uh, carry on and see what happens. Still got snow on the hills over there, look. Folks, well, the road trip really begins here. I've just come off the busy uh, Glasgow road there. Now I'm on uh, a road that is unknown to Spiz. We're going to head up this way into those sort of hills. Tibbermore's the next stop of uh, stop of whatever it's going to be, and we just sort of see what's heading up this road. So we are now in unknown territory. So here we are, folks. This is the area we're in. I'm just kind of here at the minute. We're heading up here, along here down along who knows where we're going to be going so this is the area the Keeler Forest area west of Perth well folks so far this has been a rather uneventful road trip where uh, the road is very nice to drive and I must say it's hardly any traffic on it it's the back road that we normally drive on to Creef so I think I'm heading towards the kind of Creef area so there are a few things that I know in that area that I can have a look at so it's not a road trip in vain shall we say because so far there's been nothing to see not even a stone in a field or anything so uh, a little bit boring so far it's now 11 35 and i haven't seen anything there's a boggy field there's a hill trikey there's a little village coming up here so really not much to see at all or even to be able to get out you know so anyway uh stay with us folks and we, we will find something don't worry we always do Woody bit. Crikey, that was quite ethereal. Right, up, folks, at last I found something. We can get into it, that is. Right. This is Gask Parish. Church. Yes, it's a church, folks. This is what we've arrived at. So let's have a little look at this. It's quite a kind of weird looking church. It's really white. What's all that about? Okay. Well, the usual east facing graveyards, yes. Bell, bro, we've got a bell tower for you. 
We're at a rather uneventful church. It's only from 2013 there, so obviously still used. Yeah, it looks kind of modern, this with the white walls and everything. Look, that's Claffy House just over there behind me. And uh, the oldest grave I kind of saw, I think, was 1893. We'll have a little look along the back wall as usual. Uh, James Stewart. <laughs> And the older ones seem to be over this way. And there's a gate. Oh, there's a gate over here. I wonder where that could lead to. See if there's anything exciting behind this gate. Probably not. It's quite a busy road, this. There's a van there now. And a, well, I hope my car's not blocking the road. Right, where does this gate lead to? Right, here's a... Gate to nowhere. Interesting. That's jammed. Right. Okay, well that was that folks then. Rather boring I'm afraid, sorry. Back to the car we go and onward. Oh there's somebody stopped there right beside my car. I can't believe it. Honestly, I parked my car here just outside the church and this bloody van has just set up beside me putting signs out and traffic lights and everything. I mean honestly, <laughs> in the middle of nowhere, he's parked right behind me and is doing something with traffic lights and road signs. I mean, it just it beggars belief sometimes what people do, honestly. Oh, jeez, oh. Something's been uh, slaughtered here, folks. Looks like a deer. Crikey, a very young deer. Look at that, wow. Goodness me. That's horrific. It's a big splat of something there. Oh, yuck. Okay. Right, just to show you where I am on the map at the moment, where I just stopped to take that uh, bit of footage there, Trinity Gask, just right here. I'm going to carry on down here now to the King Kale Bridge and then up. And I've got something marked on that map. I don't know what that is, but there's a green circle. So we shall go and look at the green circle, see what's there. Right, folks, we've actually stopped here at the King Kale Bridge. So I think Bro was asking, uh, have we been here before? And I think we have, but not in this, uh, not in this depth. Here we go. Look at this, bro. There we go. That's a general wade bridge by the looks of things, isn't it? Yeah, look at that. Brilliant. Lovely bridge. So here I am at the Kinkel Bridge. Yes, indeed. Halfway uh, between, uh, well, where's it between? Sort of the creef, sort of up that way and well, Perth that way, so I'm kind of halfway between the two of them, really, I think. As I said, it's been quite a, an uninteresting road trip so far, but um, I've, I've seen a place called Inner Peffery, which sounds quite interesting, and there's a little church there, I think. I think that's what my green circle is, so we're going to go and check out the mystery of the green circle and see what it is that's actually there. OK, folks, well, according to my illustrated road book of Scotland by the AA, Inner Peffery, Let's have a look and see what it says about Inner Peffery, shall we? Uh, blah -de blah four miles southeast is the ruined Inner Peffery Castle, dated 1610. Nearby is the oldest library in Scotland, founded in 1691 and housed in a late 18th century building. The library is open to the public on weekdays. The adjoining burial chapel of the Drummonds was once a collegiate church, dating from 1508, and has quaint tombs. Oh, right, so... Let's go to Nepefri and see these quaint tombs. Right, crikey folks, I just turned off this road with a signpost to Nepefri and this is... It's kind of taking me, man. What on earth is this? It's like an old airfield or something. Crikey. Bro, where are you? I need you now, bro. I feel a bit scared on my own here. Um, looking for this... What is it? I'm looking for a chapel and a, and a library. Crikey. What a weird place. Crikey. Right, okay, well. Good luck, Jag. You're on your own in this one, son. Crikey, this is taking me up. Away into the unknown now, folks. <clears throat> this is uh, 
rather. <laughs> I was going to say unnerving, but I don't know if it's unnerving. It's just a bit. Where the hell am I and what am I going to come up with? Why is that way down in the middle of nowhere? Crikey. I mean, what happens if it's owned by old people and they, they take me in and give me a cup of tea and everything because I'm the only person that's been here for like years and years and years? Alright, I think I'm here, folks. Hang on.